Vision is the ability to perceive something not actually visible or immediately apparent through mental acuteness or keen foresight. It is to imagine what might be. Strange and Mumford define vision as a highly desirable and vivid future organisational state that motivates followers, while Morden defined it as an imagined or perceived pattern of communal possibilities to which others can be drawn, which they wish to share, and which will constitute a powerful source of energy and direction within the enterprise. The leader is the source of vision and creativity that creates the possibility for the organisation to flourish and grow. An organisation is aligned and focused by the fundamental meaning, purpose and direction that the leader articulates and the visionary strategy that they formulate. The leader's vision, when properly articulated, allows everyone in the organisation to collectively imagine the end result of his or her efforts. When properly integrated and aligned in an organisation, this collective view of the end result provides followers with the power to be creative and to make choices that fit the vision and strategy articulated by the leader. As Groves notes, thus, a leader's ability to powerfully articulate a compelling and viable vision is critical for initiating organisational change by enhancing followers' openness towards change, collective efficacy to radically transform the status quo, and trust in the leader's vision. A well-articulated, aligned and embedded vision allows followers to know what to do and what decisions they can make to further the overall success of the organisation. The leader's vision needs to be a succinct, clear summation of where the organisation is now, where they want to be and how they are going to get there. However, as Kuzis and Posner counsel, the best visions are those that envision the future by imagining exciting and ennobling possibilities. Wherever possible, all followers should be presented with the vision, since if everyone is not involved, the achievement of buy-in for the vision will be more difficult. In conveying the vision verbally, we need to always express our ideas or directives in a positive rather than negative fashion, using dramatic language, analogies and metaphors to explain and colour our ideas. The leader should make extensive use of anecdotes, hard data, or relevant contextual examples to underpin the possible with examples from the past. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech is often held up as a prime example of how to use the past to envision an exciting and noble future. Taylor, Cornelius and Colvin note that leaders need to help organisations develop a greater sense of purpose by linking efforts to successful outcomes. The vision statement is a written version of the leader's vision and helps to show these links. The leader should use every opportunity to share the vision they have using whatever means to convey it. However, the written version should provide energy, excitement and direction. It should be simple and concise, using language accessible to all in the organisation and be easily remembered. It should represent an obvious improvement over the current realities and be one that creates a better future for all. It should consider the needs of all stakeholders and be a reflection of the group's values and aspirations. Aligning is the function of ensuring that the organisation's structure, systems and processes all contribute to achieving the mission and vision, as well as meeting the needs of followers, customers and other stakeholders. Alignment is achieved when followers have a complete understanding of the needs of the vision, when they share in a powerful commitment to accomplishing the vision, when they are actively participating in creating and continually improving the structures, processes and systems that will meet the needs of the vision. Once you have achieved complete alignment towards a common vision, you begin to co-vision with your followers. Most talent in an organisation lies dormant. People all potentially have enormous talent, ingenuity, intelligence and creativity. The alignment of individual purpose and mission creates great synergy. Successful alignment unleashes their latent talent, ingenuity and creativity to do whatever is necessary and consistent with values agreed upon to accomplish their common mission and vision in serving each other, customers and other stakeholders. Taffender stated that the fully integrated corporate vision operates on three levels. Firstly, it operates on the strategic level, which represents the organisation's overriding philosophy. Secondly, it operates on the tactical level, which is the organisation's philosophy in action. And finally, the personal level, which is the organisation's philosophy made manifest in the behaviour of each employee. 
Once a leader has aligned the vision to the needs of the organisation and integrated the vision, they need to ensure that the vision remains embedded within the organisation. Shine notes that a leader can embed a vision by creating and maintaining the climate or culture of an organisation, and thus lay the foundations of a corporate culture that continues to support and further the vision. Sadler summarised Shine's earlier work on organisational culture and noted that there were six primary embedding mechanisms for vision which leaders could use. The first was what leaders were seen to pay attention to, to measure and control. If rewards, measures and controls are consistent with the vision, they form a very powerful way of putting a message across and keeping the vision on track. The second mechanism is a leader's reaction to critical incidents or organisational crises that jeopardise the fulfilment of the vision. On such occasions, the behaviour of the leader reveals such things as assumptions about the importance of people before self and mission, and about the place of praise and blame in motivating employees. Thirdly, organisational culture is influenced by the criteria the leader is seen to employ in resource allocation. This involves not only the way the budget is allocated across different activities, but also the process through which the budget is drawn up. Disproportionate or improper allocation of resources to the various sectors that are working together to achieve the mission will quickly lead to pulling the vision off track. The fourth mechanism, and one which leaders constantly underestimate, consists of deliberate role modelling by leaders, using their own visible behaviour to communicate values and assumptions. The leader's own behaviour must always be consistent with the vision, mission and value statements that they have sponsored. The fifth mechanism is the way in which the leader allocates rewards and punishments. Leaders must act consistently, not only in rewarding followers for achievements, but in punishing people for not doing what they had been asked. One of the most common mistakes leaders make is expecting personal and professional growth from followers, but not providing the mechanisms or time for them to achieve it without being punished. In this vein, rewards should be based on long-term performance. The sixth mechanism consists of the criteria the leader is seen to employ in the process of recruitment, selection, promotion and outplacement. The leader must ensure consistency in regard to all of these functions, ensuring that the talents and skills within the organisation are already being utilised at their maximum prior to seeking further outside inputs. Not only this, but that those selected fit neatly into the organisational culture and interface well with the vision and values of the organisation. So, while the leader is responsible for imagining and articulating the vision, the leader and followers together share the responsibility of aligning and embedding it. A leader is required to know when they are required to lead and when they are required to support while their followers lead in carrying out the vision. The role of the leader in aligning and embedding the vision is to support, through every means available, their followers in carrying out the vision.